Idea Cellular and Bharti Airtel led winning bids at an auction of mobile phone airwaves that pitted the carriers against Mukesh Ambani's upstart operator and helped India raise a record 1.1 trillion rupees. Proceeds from the 19-day sale that concluded Wednesday, March 25th, exceeded analyst estimates and the government's target. Idea, the carrier that had the most airwaves up for auction, bid 303.1 billion rupees, with Bharti agreeing to pay 293.1 billion rupees. Almost 40% of the spectrum at the sale was in the 900 megahertz band, one of the most coveted for voice calls. In 2012. The total quantum sold was 43.04 percent. In 2013, the total spectrum sold was 17.78. In 2014, the total auction sold was 81.91 percent of the auction offering. And this time, I am very happy to announce that the total auction sold against 470 for offering was 89%. 88.81%, almost 89%. <coughs> Therefore, even the auction quantity purchase is the highest in the last so many years. The government had targeted generating 648.4 billion rupees from three of the four bands up for sale in this auction. Bharti and Vodafone, which both already operate 900 MHz spectrum, had been prohibited from using those airwaves for anything other than voice calls. The new 20-year licenses will allow the winners to use the band for services based on third-generation technology such as data. They have got 10 days maximum to pay. That right I do acknowledge. I would very honestly appeal to them <coughs> that national revenue is equally important for growth. And India's image. Therefore, what is their statutory obligation for first installment? Six clear days are available till 31st of March. Mm. We'll appreciate if they deposit their first installment by that. India's Supreme Court, which is considering challenges to the auction procedures, allowed the government to complete the sale process and gave it seven working days to submit the names of the winning bidders and how much they agreed to pay. The list of winners will be subject to final court approval with the next hearing set for April 16th.